Well, hello, Dale Delbridge here with your status chat for June 5, Friday. It's Friday. Now, a lot of things been going on. The past week, Memorial Day week, I did not do a status chat for it. We did have a post, but it wasn't about real estate, as I don't think that was necessarily an appropriate thing to do on that weekend. If you have real property to sell in the greater Murfreesboro, Rutherford County area, then call Dell to sell at Benchmark Realty, 615-409-SOLD, that's 7653, or 615-809-2323. I told you at the, that previous episode that we had 8879 active in the system. As for, we're counting house, we're counting options, uh, housing options available. We had 8879 active in the system. We had 4254 under contract, and I told you at that time that translated about 48 percent under contract. So of what is available, not only are we shrinking down, but they're they're being snapped up. So it's not like you're if you're if you think you're going to buy a house by sitting around waiting for uh, the, the market to crash. As previous episodes indicated, I don't see that happening, and I still don't see that happening based upon what we've got. Now, today, this morning, I checked, we had 8522, which is a reduction in inventory, and 4539, which is an increase in under contracts, which means as we're turning people loose, getting them out of their social uh, confinement, they're buying houses. Now, we went from 48% under contract to 53 percent under contract. That's a five percent swing and that's basically about well it's five percent of the total or ten percent of the actual under contract amount. So what else is noteworthy on today's show? Well it came out this morning that we had better than expected job performance. Let me translate that to you. Now you know we've been having a planned social unrest nationwide and they've been hitting mainly the blue cities in the blue areas but that's geographically a very small part of the united states in the middle tennessee area is a great big large area now within that area we see that we're actually selling houses we see that the rates remain low phenomenally low and we see that people want to work they want to get on with their lives like it was before people are not wanting this people are wanting to live and live to the fullest so we look at the unemployment number all the gloomers and doomers who's telling you about murder hornets and west nile virus and mosquitoes and you know just think about the experts how wrong have they been on global warming how wrong have they been on the uh a coronavirus and they're now predicting terrible things for our economic future and everyone seemed to be shocked just how much people wanted to get back to life because there's about a 10 million job swing from what they predicted was like an, an initial an, uh, an initial 7 million more unemployed when we actually are due to job losses when we actually gain two and a half million gain so that's about a 10 million job swing just over that short period. People want to work. There is dignity in working. There's dignity in supporting yourself and not being a burden to other people if you can do it. Time may come in all of our lives when we, when we actually need some help from some other people. But if you're, if you're able to work, most everyone is willing to and wants to work. It's a part of life. It's a part of normalcy. And we see a 10 million swing in the right direction, which indicates that people are, a, are just biting at recovery. The expert said that wasn't going to happen. But, you know, I can think of one fellow who was saying this was going to be fairly short. We were going to snap back because people prefer the good over the misery. And it's a personal choice. So how about you make one and get on with your life as much as you possibly can. Now we see the Dow, the Dow jumped 20% or almost 20% on this news. We're going to be okay, but we have to plan now. Inventory is low, which means they are great opportunities for you to convert that house from a, from a listing to a sold. 
You just need the right realtor. And that's when you call me, Delta Elbridge.